Hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you? Cool. I'm fine too, thank you. My name is Scott. Oh, nice name. My name is Prakash. And welcome, Prakash. Thanks. I'm an English teacher from the United States. Oh, I am too. <laughs> oh, good. An English teacher or from the United States? Okay, I'm an te English teacher of India. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. So, um, uh, why are you learning or why are you practicing uh, English today? Uh, I'm an English teacher in India, so I want to improve my English. Great. So, I want to practice my English with a native English speaker. Wonderful. Uh, so, uh, I see you brought a lesson today. I cannot see your picture. You, you cannot, your no, I cannot see your image. I can see you. Oh. Yeah, I can see you. I can hear you. Very, very good on my end. No problem then. Okay. Um, you can turn your video off if it helps or if it speeds up your connection. You can turn your video off. And as long as I can hear you, that's uh, the important thing. Okay. No problem. So can we start our conversation now? Sure. Okay. I cannot see you, but it's okay for me. I can hear you properly. properly okay. So okay. Uh, may I know about your family? Oh, sure. Um, well, first of all, I teach English as a second language and I live and work in Thailand. Oh, Thailand. When did you move yes. there? I moved to Thailand six years ago. Oh, so it's a long time. So you know everything about Thailand and maybe you know the language of Thai also. <laughs> I don't know everything, uh, but I can read the Thai language. I can speak conversational uh, Thai, but I'm not fluent. Oh, actually, I cannot see you, but I can, I can, I can understand your enthusiasm. You want to learn many new things. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that's me, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I also like to know so many new things. And I think, so, you know, learning is an endless process. We, we right. still have a last breath. Absolutely. I just completed one year of uh, Thai classes. So, oh. like you, I believe education should never, never stop. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I agree with you. How many languages can you speak? Well, I used to study Spanish, and at university, I studied German, but I do not study those anymore, only Thai. Oh, then uh, what are your hobbies? Well, besides studying languages, I enjoy reading books, um, watching movies. Great. And physical fitness, staying... <laughs> Actually, we have same hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> really, I, 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 I saw some uh, books behind you. Now I cannot see you, but I saw you oh. behind books. And, uh, in my, I, I also mm -hmm. I have so many books of reading. So I spend my time uh, in reading because I'm a teacher here. <laughs> right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I also spend my time for my fitness. In the morning, I don't do any work. I just do yoga, pranayama, and some exercises. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. I, I like yoga and uh, some light uh, exercise, like push-ups. I try oh. to do that every day. Okay. Uh, um, how long uh, have maybe you been? Four okay. times a week. <laughs> how do you find Thailand? I love Thailand. It's a great country. That's how I can stay there for so many oh. Oh, six years. Have you ever been to India? No, unfortunately, I've never been there yet, but hopefully someday. Oh, so most welcome to India, okay? India is a great country. 
Yes, with great movies. <laughs> great movies, yes, yes. Movies are do. And do uh, I do. Uh, can I say Scott? Yes, your name is Scott. Yes. Okay. So I think I'm so lucky because I was born in India. Uh, India is a country full of festivals. Yes. Do you know any any, any name of our festivals, Indian festivals? Then I, I will share you something about our festivals. Well, I, I know India is such a large country with so many cultures and languages and religions. So I, I think it would be really hard to learn about India because there's so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> as, a, as an Indian also, it's very difficult to understand everything, you know. Uh, today is a Dashira. We have one festival today. Oh. Okay, that's why I'm wearing this type of our traditional brace, kurta. Oh, it's nice. I don't see you now, but I saw it before. Okay, you can't see me? Not now, no. But I did. Oh. Okay, now? Okay, now I can see you again. Yes. Oh, sorry for that. So, uh, do you want to know about Dashira? I would love to. Okay. So, Dasera is a festival. Uh, it's a victory over uh, good over evil. It's a victory, good over evil. Uh -huh. Okay. For many years ago, you know, uh, Lord Rama, our Lord Rama went to the forest for 14 years. Okay. And uh, Demon Ravan kidnapped uh, Ram's wife. Yes. And took to his, his kingdom, Lanka. Uh -huh. And uh, Ram went, attacked. Then after 10 days, Ram killed Ravana. Mm -hmm. mm. So this year, that's why uh, every year we celebrate this day as the Shira. The Shira. On this day, uh, we make the effigies of uh, Demon Ravan, his brother, uh, his brother Kumbhkarna and his son Meghnad. Mm -hmm. And we burned uh, their effigies. What was that? Effigies. We burned their effigies. You know, you know, their statue like that. Oh, okay. Yes. And we want to spread the message. We should have some uh, good personality traits like Rama. Rama had great personalities like, you know, persistence, forgiveness, integrity, modesty, kindness, love, wisdom, courage, everything. Virtues. We should follow this type of personality traits. And we, uh, Ra, mm -hmm. Ravan had some negative personality traits like that. Impulsive, anger, greed, arrogance, jealousy, hatred, despair. So we should yeah. not follow this type of personality traits. So we just want to uh, spend the message to our country people. That's great. That's honorable yes and mm. the different story there are so many different stories you know you have already told you about we have a big countries and we have some i know different culture also e each right. and every state has different culture can i ask you uh what is the origin of this uh festival oh, what is oh, it? i mean is this historical or religious or both Okay, it's a religious festival. One more story, you know, in our, we have one state, West Bengal. So same festival use, uh, celebrated as uh, Durga Puja. Okay. Okay. So we know Buffalo Demon, Demon of the Buffalo. Uh -huh. He prayed the, our Lord Brahma and he got some wounds. Mm -hmm. And he started killing some innocent people. So God created one goddess. It is called the Durga. And that Durga. goddess got killed uh, demon buffalo, demon of buffaloes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is also the, you know, so we have been celebrating this festival since uh, 10 days. And this today is the last day. In the evening, we are going to burn. We are going to burn the effigies of statue of these all demons. Oh, okay. Every year we celebrate. We, we celebrate this festival every year. Huh. And just after 20 days, we have a biggest festival in India. It is called the Diwali. 
Okay. Is it a national holiday or? Um... A national holiday. Today is a national holiday. I'm a government teacher. Today I'm at my home and just enjoying. Oh, great. Good. That's mm. nice to hear. Yes. We have festive, festive dishes like fafda, jalebi. We have dishes so like yogurt. Mm. What else will you do to celebrate? Like besides, will you go to watch a burning of this effigy or we uh, have a traditional yeah. meal? Yes. We, say, we buy some, uh, you know, festive dishes like the fafda, jalebi, then we eat, we enjoy a lot. And in the evening, mm -hmm. we are going to burn the, and we are going to watch this, the ceremony. Okay, that sounds fun. Yes. Hmm. So I'm, I'm so happy today. <laughs> and I thought because I'm talking with a really very nice, enthusiastic and energetic person. I cannot see him today, but I can. I, I mean, <laughs> so which is your favorite festival? Can you share me about your favorite festival or any festival you like? Oh, sure. Uh, I, I could give you an example from Thai culture or American culture. Um, but I'll start with American culture my, because I'm American. And yeah, Christmas, um, which coincides with the New Year holiday, is uh, by far the biggest uh, uh, celebration time and festival time in America. And uh, I th you probably already know <laughs> a lot about Christmas. I, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, Christmas. Christmas is also celebrated in India. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain uh, the origins or what we do. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, but tell me, how do you celebrate there? You know, how do I celebrate, you celebrate um, differently? In your country, you celebrate in different way. Right. Well, I prefer to uh, spend time with my family, my mother, father, brother, sister, my daughter, also, and oh. um, and we exchange gifts, and everybody gives everybody a gift, and um, we sit around and open the gifts on Christmas morning. And usually we have um, Christmas breakfast, a Christmas um, and a big Christmas dinner, maybe lunch if sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So in yeah, India, yeah. You know, Diwali is as popular as, as, as your Christmas. Okay. What, how do I say that? Sorry? How do you say this holiday? Today's holiday. Yes. No, today is the Dasera. Just I was talking about next festival. After 20 days, we have one more festival, and that is the biggest festival of India. That is called oh. the Diwali. And Diwali is as popular as your Christmas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I see. <laughs> so after five days of Christmas, you celebrate New Year, and our after Diwali, next day is our, our new New Year. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Oh, your English is amazing. Um, oh, thanks. So, um, is, it, is this Cambly helping you a lot or a little? How would you rate? No, your... uh, Cambly helps me a lot because actually I, I get a chance. I get a chance to talk with the native English speaker. Yes. So that's why I can get confidence. Yes, I can speak English and other person can understand what I want to say. And I can understand your pronunciation also. Good, good. And as likely, um, your English also is very clear. Uh, great pronunciation. Um, I see no issues. So um, you probably need to challenge yourself <laughs> with <laughs> some more advanced um, idioms or something. I don't know. Those <laughs> you can study those for years. <laughs> okay. I believe that the more I practice, the better I can speak. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and really, I, 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 I like your name. Practice. You are so friendly and you are talking with me like a friend. Oh, this sure. Is first, this is our first conversation, but we have been talking, you know, we have been talking like the friend for 10 oh. minutes. I, I think that's the way we should treat everybody, right? <laughs> so I'm, I'm lucky because I'm talking with uh, a good, good person. Oh, yeah, thank you, and me too. It's my honor. And you're welcome to call me again. I'll be here every day. <laughs> and we have 10 seconds.
So oh, nice. yeah, only 10 seconds. So just saying the 10 seconds, I can say okay. 